Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Ventura TV. I'm Sandra Cepak. On today's show, we're welcoming Brittany Hendricks. She is the VP of Marketing and Communications for Visit Oxnard. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to the show. Hi, Sandra. Thank you for having me. Good. Uh, tell us more about Visit Oxnard and what visitors can find there. Sure. Visit Oxnard is the tourism marketing agency for the city of Oxnard. Okay. Our goal is to drive overnight visitation to the city and bring economic benefits to our community. Very good. Um, so Oxnard has so many fun things to do, so many things to enjoy. Lots going on there, especially during the uh, summer months. So we, we want to give people as much information as possible. Uh, so share some of the things that are new. Uh, at Visit Oxnard? Yeah, so Visit Oxnard launched its restaurant pass in the month of January okay. um, in line with California Restaurant Month. And what that is, is it's a free uh, mobile pass okay. and pass holders can access the pass on their mobile device. And basically it's set up as like a gamified check-in challenge where you can go to different restaurants on the pass you can get great discounts that are exclusive to the past. And then we also send out prizes to um, people for checking in at different locations. Nice. So is it something that you have to register for? You have to go to our website, visit Oxnard.com and we have the restaurant pass on our restaurant page. And what you do is you quickly sign up for the pass. It emails you a link, you get it on your mobile device, and then you're ready to go. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So let's start with Visit Oxnard and um, all that you can find on that particular site. List some of the things that people can go to and look for, such as maybe hotels. Uh, we mentioned restaurants. Um, what are some of the things, activities, uh, rentals, things like that? What can they find? Sure. So our website is designed to kind of tell the story of Oxnard from a very authentic point of view. Okay. So um, not only are we talking about places that you can stay and things that you can do, you know, whether it's parasailing or venturing out to the Channel Islands National Park, which, you know, we're the closest access point um, along the coast, which is absolutely okay. incredible. Nicknamed North America's Galapagos for the diversity of wildlife you'll find nowhere else on earth. Um, so we have all that information, but we also tell stories of our community whether it's the music culture here or the agricultural history and ties um, to farm life in the early 1900s. So we have so much great information that is relevant to not only visitors, but also to the local community. So that's great. So they, they talk a little bit about the history of Oxnard and, and some of the things that have gone on through the years. Absolutely. So if you didn't know, Oxnard is named for Henry T. Oxnard. He's the founder of the city and he actually came to Oxnard, to the Oxnard Plain because of the sugar beet and he started a farming enterprise out of the city and um, that's how we got our name. That's good to know, very nice. Okay, uh, so Visit Oxnard has a revamped Oxnard Taco Time. I gotta hear more about that. That's something that everybody could want more information about. Yeah, so we launched the Oxnard Taco Trail a couple of years ago based on a poll that we did on social media. And we reached out to the community and we said, hey, we know that tacos are huge in Oxnard. Our residential population is about three quarters Latino. And we want to honor the local businesses that we have here in our restaurant tours and make sure we are telling people about the best places where you can have tacos here. So now we are evolving that taco trail into another mobile pass. It's gonna be another gamified check-in challenge and okay. we'll have a t-shirt that we're gonna be giving away. So if you check in to the majority of locations on the trail, you can win a t-shirt that says, I conquered the Oxnard taco trail. Right, and when does all that take place? So we're looking to launch this in the next month. So uh, late July to early August is when we're hoping to have that live. Okay, sounds good. Um, we also know that you have something coming up called the Dallas Cowboys Camp. Um, 
We're very excited to hear about that. And I'm sure our visitors would be too. So let's hear more about that as well. Absolutely. So as you all may know, Dallas Cowboys training camp is coming to Oxnard. The Dallas Cowboys are America's team. And we are so thrilled that they come back to Oxnard year over year. They love the weather here. It's much better than Dallas to be training in the summertime. And um, it generally lasts about two to three weeks at River Ridge playing fields off of Ventura Road in Oxnard. Um, And it's free to attend. We're really excited because this year the players will be signing autographs again. Last year, they couldn't do the NFL guidelines with COVID. Um, But this year they will be back. They will be out in the community and we're looking forward to it. And again, when is that going to take place? Yeah, so the first practice session will kick off on July 27th, but opening ceremonies will actually occur on July 30th. And then we will also have a Heroes Appreciation Day. So if you're in the military, if you're a police officer um, in the fire department, or if you are working in our hospitals and have been kind of saving the day the last couple of years for all of us, um, you're welcome to come. You just need to bring an ID. And then you would be welcome to come in and it's exclusively for our heroes. There will also be a really incredible World War II plane um, flying over camp and Visit Camarillo is going to be hosting a giveaway for that package. Visit Oxnard will be hosting a giveaway to actually fly someone out for a VIP experience at camp as well. Good to hear. That's going to be fun. Very nice. So, For visitors coming here for the first time, what do you suggest? Oh my gosh, there's so much. Well, one of my favorite things is that um, drum workshop headquarters for the the entire world is headquartered in Oxnard. Um, It's a huge drum brand. So people from all over the world come here just to tour um, the headquarters and see how their drums are made. Um, Another incredible attraction that we have here is our world-class Mullen Automotive Museum. We have one of the most expensive cars in the world. It's nicknamed the Mona Lisa of cars. There's only, I think, one or two in the world like it. um, And it's just something you cannot miss. So those are all some fun things that people should definitely look into if they're coming to Oxnard. Um, and of course, there's so many things to enjoy out there. Of course, we mess with the restaurants and, and the harbor, of course. And, you know, there's so many very fun things for the entire family to enjoy. So we want everybody to come out and visit Oxnard, of course. Um, so again, can you share the website and any contact information for those who would like more information? Absolutely. So if you would like to know more about Oxnard, please go to visit Oxnard.com. You can send us an email if you have any questions at info at visitoxnard.com. Follow us on social media at visitoxnardca. And um, we have a visitor guide that we just launched and it's absolutely beautiful. You can request that on our website. You can also sign up for our e-newsletter and we'll send you information. Good to hear. Very good. Well, thank you so very much for all the great information, Brittany Hendricks from Visit Oxnard. We welcome everybody to come out and spend some time out there and enjoy everything that Oxnard has to offer. So again, thank you for joining us today on the show. Thank you, Sandra. And thank all of you for being with us. We enjoy having you and seeing you next time. Bye, everyone.